language WhatsApp. Welcome to the first lesson of learning Heidenheim control, Heidenheim panel programming. Uh, we will start with explaining the monitor. Here we see the act, that it means actual position of X, Y, Z, B and C axis. Also here we see function, functions of, of the machine. M, it means machine and you can see cycle start, stop, functions that you can move X, Y and Z with, uh, uh, with uh, jog. You can also see S that it means spindle. Here you can give revolutions M3, M4, uh, orient the, the spindle. Here you can see how we can do a tool change. Here is the rate, the speed rate, and here is the feed rate. Also, to this side here, that we see the symbol of coordinate it's symbol z uh, zero we can have also one two three four five six seven eight or these symbols are the same but they symbolize it differently on heidenheim controls uh, are the same that they symbolize that we have on fa on tanuk machines or has machines and it means zero perhaps it, that this model it means g54 one it means g55 two g56 and goes on uh, and here we can see the t that means tool now the tool that we have selected is tool 51 perhaps here we can see the working axis the vertical working axis now that it's z that it means we are in front of a vertical milling machine this s it means for speed and this f it means feed if we go down here we can see m s and f here we can give perhaps a function m m3 perhaps and we can uh, give cycle start and also we can give uh, we have given revolutions to 1500 and we see here that the spindle has reached and if we want to change perhaps the revolution we can say 300 cycle start and we change it here we can give feed if we want and uh, also here touch probe is the place that we are doing our measurements if i go here we can see the ways how we can measure a part but before we go there we can also our machine our machine has the possibility to make it from vmc to hmc that it means from vertical milling machine to horizontal milling machine just with a simple way just turning manually the head we can make our machine horizontal and we can just change the z here and make and make it x symbol and uh, also here we can calibrate our probe here we can measure uh, an ang measure angle with our probe x and y here we can measure all the axis vertical and the sides vert uh, vertical z axis and sides y and x uh, here we can take a lot of a lot of uh, measures touching in a lot of places and the last one is this probing ss that means we can take a measure inside to a circle touching x plus and x minus y y plus and y minus we can see the zero point in the center of the circle
now we can continue with this feature here that it means 3d rotation before we go here and change the axis and put perhaps here x and take the measurements we need to go here that means 3d rotations and just say active and active to program to manual operation and just going here and say into our b axis that is the head of the machine and uh, just saying that we can do it 90 degrees in order to uh, to, mach to the machine to understand that we can turn 90 degrees the head that it means the machine now will go horizontal and just end with this way we do the rotation we change our machine to from vertical to horizontal and here is the tool table if we go in we can see tool t that it means tool name l that means the measurement length that we have measured radius of the tool second radius if we want to give and uh, and uh, and uh, also another a lot of another information that we can give but for now i just want to show you how exactly we go to a tool Perhaps we go to D4, that D4 it means drill 4. If we want to change a name, we just write, uh, write drill 4 millimeter and put enter. We, if we want to set the length, let's say that we have measured it, we just say 100. And if we want to give the radius, we give D divided by 2, the radius of the tool. And we go and that was the first learning video thanks for watching and please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next lesson see you soon guys Caught in the crossfire